I believe that there are opportunities now, um, as Holly has pointed out, with the new technologies as well, not only, but including new technologies, to do exactly what the Secretary is arguing for, which is to personalize education to every student in the system. And sometimes I hear people say, well, you can't personalize it to everybody. We can't afford that. And my answer is, we can't afford not to. What we're going to show you now is some amazing technology made right here in America. In fact, right down the street from us here in California. See go. those red stripes that are on there and see how they're swinging across? What they're doing is actually measuring the size and shape of the surface. And we've made a computer model. If you zoom in on that computer model, you can see it's made of you know, tens of thousands of tiny little triangles. And that lets us, we can make a movie with it, we can do whatever, but what's of interest here is that we can then take that information and we can transfer it to other machines like this printer over here. You know? Yeah, this is, this is like, uh, it's the Jetsons, all right? <laughs> this is like having a factory in your own place. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's a very comparative science. We take our fossils and we compare them to samples of humans, we compare them to samples of apes, we compare them to other fossil specimens. Using comparative analysis, they try to answer the big question. Where does the new find fit on the family tree? One academic describing uh, this to me earlier today as uh, bigger than the moon landing, saying that this is an iconic uh, world treasure. Let's take this big announcement live. is extraordinary that this small box in only a few minutes can scan and capture um, the entire topography of, of Washington's life mask so it can then be rendered um, in a way that makes it really come alive and the fact that it's non-invasive and doesn't in any way threaten the object and the potential that it unlocks for understanding history. The 3D results astonish James Reese. Wow, that's scary. Ziploc began with an agency animatic that came out of testing successfully and on which director Greg Ramsey based his shooting boards. These boards acted as our blueprint. Greg and our effects wizard, Ed Manning, decided upon a new route for creating the Ziploc vegetable world. Ed scanned them into his incredibly versatile high-resolution laser scanner and used those scans to begin creating his CG models. Ah! Ah! Who the hell is that? Hello, Father. I have the clay head, and it is being scanned by the three-dimensional scanner. And what I'm going to do is then take this scan and print it on a three-dimensional printer. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can print just a piece of it. I can also manipulate the file. If the eye isn't big enough, I'll make it uh, bigger. If the jaw needs to be moved a little bit, I can do that on here. The tools with which we do design today are our tools. We make the shapes, people buy and use the shapes. Tomorrow, this will be different. The tools to make things and define your world will be available to everybody. I believe the opportunity now is in our hands to make the change.